everyone. I just wanted to welcome you to the challenge. It's day one, so today we're going to work on the basics, which is breathing and bandhas. And bandhas are locks. Um, there's Udiyanda Bandha and Mula Bandha, and that really plays into how you can engage your core as well as the breathing element. So a lot of times people just sort of forget to breathe, they want to work really hard, um, but when you incorporate the breathing techniques as well as the bandhas, it really takes your core work to the next level. And it's very basic stuff, so it's not going to be a killer workout today, but this foundation is really critical to build during our challenge. In addition to that, I'm having the Radiant Skin Smoothie this morning, and I added a little kale and mint to mine because I have kale and mint growing in my garden right now. And um, I really encourage you this week to just make all these smoothies your own. Add a little bit more of this, a little less of that, whatever, to um, really make it enjoyable and awesome for you. Work with what you, what's in your house. Mm. So the Radiant Skin Smoothie has collagen in it and Camu Camu, which your um, collagen is really high in amino acids and protein. And it's awesome for your skin. So definitely incorporate that into your smoothies. And um, the Camo Camo is really high in vitamin C, which is, of course, awesome for your skin. And of course, like I said, I added the kale and the mint, which is gave it a little green tinge, awesome vitamins and minerals. Okay, so sit up really tall. And we're going to just take a couple breaths just to ground ourselves and set our positive intention to engage the core of the body. Now remember, for those of you who have been in previous challenges, the core of the body or um, the navel chakra is the home of creativity and perseverance. So just keep that in mind as you set your intention. Rest your hands down onto your knees, lift your heart and your chest, relax your eyes closed, and let's take three deep breaths. So inhale through the nose, set up as tall as you can. And as you exhale, gently draw the belly in and back towards the spine. Think of drawing the navel center in and squeezing all of the air out with your exhale. And let's do that again. Deep breath in, really expand your rib cage. Breathe as deeply as you can. Lift and open your heart. Breathe all the way up to your collarbone. And as you exhale, Pull the ribs in, draw the navel center in, squeeze the air out, and think of pel pulling the pelvic floor up as well. So a Kegel exercise, engage all of the muscles in the core of the body. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. Fill up your lungs as completely as possible. And as you exhale, squeeze the air out, pull the belly in, and engage the pelvic floor drawing all of the air out as you pull the muscles in. Go ahead and set your intention for your practice. Again, perseverance is an awesome intention to set. You can also go with something simple like joy or peace. Take a moment. And then go ahead and open your eyes. Okay, beautiful. Go ahead and lie down on your back. So lying down on your back, I want you to rest your hands onto your stomach and keep your knees bent, by the way, feet flat for now. Rest your hands onto your belly. Now I want you to grab onto your hip bones or just take your index and middle finger and just touch your hip bones. And now in about an inch from your hip bones, walking towards the belly button or towards the midline, press down. <clears throat> now if you clear your throat like I just did or sneeze or cough, you're going to feel those muscles fire. That's your transversus abdominis, okay, deepest muscles in your abdominal wall. So you feel those muscles. So again, just clear your throat, throat practice. No one's listening, right? Just go ahead and, and engage those muscles. All right, you feel it. Now walk your toes together, walk your knees together, squeeze your knees and your inner thighs and engage those muscles again and really feel them engage under your fingers. Okay, you got it? All right. So from there, rest your hands down onto your rib cage. Take a deep breath in through your belly. Just relax those muscles for a second, by the way. Relax. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your knees together, squeeze your ankles together, press your low back flat into the mat, and engage those muscles, flattening the abdominal wall. Okay? Let's do it again. So relax the muscles, relax your knees, breathe in. Exhale, engage everything, squeeze everything, press your low back down, and pull the belly in, flattening the abdominal wall. Let's do it one more time. 
So deep breath in, relax everything, breathing deep. Exhale, squeeze to the midline, press your low back flat into the mat, and pull your belly in. Good. So return to neutral. I want you to stretch your hands out over your head, but try not to arch your back, so keep everything neutral. As you exhale, you're going to flex your head, neck, and shoulders up, but I want you to really squeeze the inner thighs at the same time. Now reach your fingertips as far forward as you can, but keeping your low back down. Okay, we're going to roll out of that, so I want you to reach over your head, keep those abdominal walls, um, abdominal muscles engaging, flat back, exhale, roll up, and reach through your fingertips. And let's do it again. Inhale, reach over your head, squeeze the inner thighs th first, flatten the abdominal wall, and roll it up. Let's do it two more times just like that. Inhale, reach over your head. Squeeze the inner thighs, flatten the abdominal wall, engage that traver transversus abdominus, and reach forward. This is your last one. Inhale, reach over your head, just really gentle. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs, flatten the abdominal wall, and reach forward. And we're going to hold here for three breaths. So I want you to really reach through your fingertips. Keep your chin gently towards your chest. And by the way, top of the tongue towards the roof of your mouth will keep the neck relaxed. Now grab onto your inner thighs and sit yourself all the way up. That might be really tough, but use the, the hands behind the thighs to help yourself up, okay? We're gonna roll behind the tailbone again. Tuck the tailbone, pull the belly in, roll all the way down, reach over your head. Exhale, float the hands to the sky, squeeze the abdominal wall, flatten everything, hold underneath your thighs, pull yourself up if you need to. Now, if you don't need help getting up, then just um, don't use your hands. Okay, let's do it again. Roll down, so slowly rolling down, pull your belly in, control it as much as possible, chin to chest, slow, 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 reach over your head, squeeze the inner thighs, flatten the abdominal wall, peel yourself up, hands underneath the thighs if you need to, otherwise just get up on your own without it, take one more breath here, let's do one more, tuck your tailbone, do the best you can with this, hands underneath your thighs if you need to, all good, right? but go as slow as you can. Really use those muscles to roll yourself one vertebra at a time. Last one here, reach over your head. Exhale, peel it up. So hands to the sky, one vertebra at a time. Lift, 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 lift. You can do this. Lift up as high as you can, top of the sitting bones and tailbone. Good, now go ahead and cross your legs. Okay, that was just a gentle warm up to get you to fire this transversus. So if you do that first, before you start to do the crunch or the plank or whatever, engage those muscles while we're doing all of the other exercises. Okay, so sit up really tall, take a huge breath in, and you can do this anywhere, right? You can do this at the grocery line, the bank line, driving in your car, sitting on a plane. So exhale, pull the belly in, engage the pelvic floor and the abdominal wall and squeeze all the air out with your exhale. One more time, just like that. So deep breath in, relax the muscles, Fill the lungs as completely as possible, so you have to relax your muscles to do that. Don't always hold it in. you got to breathe. Exhale. Now engage it. Pull it in. Sit up really tall and draw the navel in and back. And feel those, like poke at them. Feel those muscles fire. Okay? Perfect. Now from there, I want you to go ahead and come into a plank position. We're going to start with your hands right underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. You're going to curl your toes under. Squeeze your legs straight. Now, I want you to have your big toes together and your knees together so you can really squeeze to the midline again. Press through your palms. So the mistake a lot of people make in a plank is they sink down into it, right, like this. You want to press through your hands and your palms, pull your belly in, round your spine just a little bit, and squeeze to the midline. Now, back of your neck is long, so you're looking kind of right down between your hands, a little bit out in front. Take three more breaths here and really focus on squeezing to the midline as you exhale. Two more breaths. If you're feeling a little shaky and you want to take a little weight off, it's always fine to modify by bending the knees, right? One more breath. Really squeeze to the midline. Engage your belly by pulling it in and up. And then we're going to release the knees and sit back to child's pose for just a second. Just rest back. Now we're going to modify it a little bit. So I want you to shift forward again, curl your toes, lift your knees so you're straight, and then just bring your right knee to your right tricep. Now we're gonna hold it here. And listen, the higher you bring that knee up to your armpit, the more you'll feel your core. 
Now really engage those muscles, take one more breath, and relax back to child's pose. So rest it back. Shift forward, let's do the same thing other side. So curl the toes, remember your intention. So it was perseverance, really engage from the belly, and then left knee to left tricep. And again, the higher you bring that knee up to your armpit, the more you're gonna feel it. For three, two, and step back, knees down. Nice job, sit your hips back onto your heels. Now bring it back to center, and we're gonna do a spinal ba balance exercise next. So I want you to bring your right foot straight back, and your left arm straight forward. Now same thing as before, I want you to really pull in and up through your belly, so just be extra aware of your breathing and your bandhas. Belly pulled in and up, Kegel exercise, so engage the pelvic floor here as well. Take one more breath, and then release it down. So it's a super simple exercise, spinal balance, otherwise known as bird dog. Switch so that your right hand's forward and your left hand is back. But just have that extra awareness of pulling the belly in and up. That's going to make the exercise more effective and really engage the muscles that you're really looking to engage. Take one more breath, really reach forward and reach back and then hand to knee down. Now, go ahead and lie down on your back. So I know I have you flipping all over today, but this is just to kind of set the foundation. So, we're gonna do the same thing you just did uh, on your hands and knees, the bird dog, um, in a recline position. So, just to check in, I want your, your knees right out over your hips. So just be aware that if your knees are tracking towards your face, feel your low back press down, right? If your knees are out away from your face, you'll feel your knee, your um, back arch. We don't want either. So I want your spine neutral, so knees are right out over hips, okay? And shins are parallel to the ground. Hands can relax down by your side for now. Now just tap your right toe down towards the mat. And right when it touches the mat, you're gonna exhale, engage your abs, and lift up. Switch sides. Left toe touches down, keep your abs flat, Engage that transversus and pull back up. Switch it. So the breathing is inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Now keep going right and left, and it's like pedaling a bike now. You can pick up the pace if you like to, so it's continuous motion. But what we're going to do, of course, is add the arms to this and make it a little bit harder. So you can always go back to this exercise if you like, right? Just toe tap. Now what we're going to do is add opposite arm to your leg. So as your right leg taps down, your left arm's going to reach over your head. A little bit of mind work here. Right As your left toe touches, your right arm reaches and bring it back. Right toe, left arm. Left toe, right arm. Now if this is feeling okay for you and your back is not an issue, you can straighten your leg as you reach over your head. So right leg straighten left arm over your head, and then left leg straightens, right arm over your head, okay? Keep reaching and pedaling, reaching with your arms and pedaling with your legs. Couple more, keep breathing and engaging the abdominal wall for four, three, two, and one. Now pull your knees to your chest and just relax, nice job. Flip over onto your hands and knees into child's pose. So go ahead and flip yourself over. Again, keeping it really basic here today. We're gonna finish off with a half sun salutation, a few rounds, just to get the abdominal wall stretched out and the body loosened up. So relax your forehead. Go ahead and make your way into downward facing dog. Curl your toes, press yourself back. Stretch it out. Reset your intention. So take a couple breaths just to reset that intention of perseverance or joy or whatever it is that you really want to work towards today. Inhale, draw to plank pose right into the top of a push-up. Having some hoodie issues here. Now in your plank, what are you going to do? You're going to pull your belly in and scoop the tailbone under a little bit. Bend your elbows lower down. Inhale into your cobra. Get a good stretch through your abs. So we're creating not only strong, but also flexible core. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Do it again, inhale to plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower down. 
Inhale into your cobra. Exhale into your downward facing dog. And let's do that one more time. So be aware of breath and bandhas as we move through. Inhale, plank. Squeeze to the midline. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower down. Inhale into your cobra back bend. And exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe in and out through your nose. And then go ahead and release your knees and have a seat. So just like we started, we're going to end. And again, to the intention for, for me, for this practice for you today, is not to kill you with hard exercises today. It's just to create a foundation for the week, um, to remember that we don't always have to crush ourselves with our workout. Just being aware of how you can engage the abdominal wall at any time can really be beneficial. And remember, it's activating the abdominal wall before you do the exercises, maintaining a neutral spine and breathing. Go ahead and rest your hands either down onto your knees or you can turn your palms to face up with your thumb and your index finger together to touch. Relax your eyes closed. Bring awareness to your breath and back to your bandhas. So mula bandha, you want to pull the pelvic floor up, squeeze in, and draw the navel center in and back for Uddiyanda Bandha. Okay, relax all of that. Take a deep breath in, really feel the breath come into the lowest lobes of the lungs, expanding with your breath. And as you exhale, engage the pelvic floor, engage the abdominal wall, and squeeze all the old air out with your exhale. Beautiful, one more time, deep breath in, fill up your lungs as completely as possible. And exhale, pull the belly in, engage the pelvic floor, and squeeze all the old air out. Nice job, you guys. Bring your hands together at heart center. Sit up as tall as you can. Open and lift your heart. Reset your intention. Bow your chin to your chest. Take a huge breath in as you reach your hands out and up to the sky. Gather your energy and strength for the day. And exhale, draw it in and back to your heart center. Awesome work. Enjoy your smoothie. So again, whichever one you're choosing, feel free to be creative with it. A little more of this, a little less of that. It's all good. Make it work for you and have an awesome day. Namaste.